morning boys and girls how are you um i hope that you're ready to worship with us this morning go call your mom your sisters your brother and every other person in the house call them to the living room so we can worship the lord together because this is the day that the lord has made and we will be glad and rejoice in it because he's a good god amen but before we start singing to the lord i would like us to make a prayer all right put your hands together close your eyes and bow your head our good god we come before you this morning we thank you for your love upon us oh god we thank you for protecting us all through the week oh god we thank you for everything that we did during the week and we also thank you for surrounding us with your love for the lord we have gathered here together with one agenda and it is to worship you this morning may you be with us oh god help us to put into practice what you're going to learn today and as we worship you oh god let your spirit take control in our lives and even in everything that we do for it is in jesus name we pray amen everyone say amen all right um so we're gonna sing a few songs before we dive into today's lesson so and the song is courage brother do not stumble yeah be courageous swing a bit and sing one
wonderful. Jesus love is very, very wonderful. Jesus love is very, very wonderful. So wonderful love. So high that you can't get over it. So low that you can't get under it. So wide that you can't get around it. So wonderful love. So wonderful love. With Christ in my heart, I can smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. Smile at the storm. With Christ in my heart, I can smile at the storm. As, As we go sailing home. Sailing, sailing home. Sailing, sailing home. With Christ in my heart, I, I can smile at the storm. As we go sailing home. Sailing home, sailing, sailing home with Christ in my heart. I can smile at the storm as we go sailing home with Christ in my heart. I can smile at the storm, smile at the storm, smile at the storm with Christ in my heart. I can smile at the storm as we go sailing home, sailing, sailing home. Sailing home with Christ in, in my, my heart. heart, I can smile at, at the storm as we go sailing home. Amen. As we go sailing home with Christ in our hearts, we can smile at the storm, we can grow courageous in whichever storm we may face in life. Amen. Now, um, how many of you had? A birthday during the week um even those that have birthdays today stand up from wherever you are so we can sing for you a birthday song happy birthday to you may jesus bless you may he guide you and keep you Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, may Jesus bless you, may he guide you and keep you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you and your friends, your sisters, brothers, and whoever it is that had a birthday during the week and those that have birthdays today. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. um, go get your Bible and a notebook. And then find some space in your living room and sit, sit comfortably. Because the story I have for you today is a very, very interesting story. All right. I'm giving you a second to go get your Bible and a notebook. So we can start together. Right. Uh -huh. So our topic today is about courage, being courageous. And we are going to read a story of a man called Daniel. How many, if you know about this man, um, t t t like nod your head if you know if you know if you know uh, or you have you if you ever heard of this man daniel nod your head nice so the story about daniel is a very interesting one like i said um daniel was was in a in a city called babylon and this city was ruled by a king and the king's name is Darius. King Darius was the king of Babylon. Right? Then one day, one day King Darius thought of, uh, of how he was going to rule the kingdom. And so he chose 120 people to come and help him rule the entire Babylonian kingdom. Okay? And then he went further and chose three people who would be in charge of the entire kingdom. 
And among these three people was Daniel. And Daniel was highly respected by the king. And, and the reason as to why King Darius respected Daniel was because Daniel always did the right thing and he did whatever he was meant to do very well in a very hardworking way. He did things so well that even the king could not find any fault with him. All right? So, one day the king thought, mm, the king thought of, of, of making Daniel a ruler of the entire kingdom. Now, when, 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 when some people heard about it, when some of the leaders heard about, remember we had like 120 people who were chosen to help him, to help the king rule the kingdom, and then uh, he went further and chose three, three who were meant to also lead the entire kingdom. When, when some of the leaders heard that the king wanted to make, uh, to make Daniel a ruler, of the entire Babylonian kingdom. Um, they got jealous. They got very, very jealous. Jealousy ate into them and they could not think anymore because they were wondering why is the king making Daniel, uh, why, why is the king thinking of making Daniel the, the ruler of the entire Babylonian kingdom? So they looked for ways of of making of 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 making Daniel look bad in front of the king, but they could not find any. They looked, they searched, they thought of so many ways, but they could not find any. But at last, um, they they discovered that Daniel loved to worship. He loved worshiping the Lord, and so they knew that if they were to do anything. Anything that was that would touch on Daniel's worship, it would be, it it would really break break Daniel's heart. So they went, came up with a with a law, and this law meant this law uh, was about everyone worshiping King Darius and not any other god for the next thirty days. For for thirty days, they were meant to worship King. Darius, instead of those other gods that they were worshipping. At least we know for Daniel, Daniel was, worship, was worshipping God. So when, that, when, when uh, after, after they had sat and created this law, they went to the king and asked the king to sign the law. And the king agreed to sign the law. And you know once the king has signed the law, no one can go against that law. No one. If, you, if anyone went against it, they were meant to be thrown into the den of lions and die because the lion would, the lion would eat, eat the person. So what happened? After, after the king signed this law, after the king signed the law, uh, and Daniel heard about it. And when he heard about it, he went, he went home and he started praying. He used to pray three times in a day. He worshipped the Lord every day. And then one day, this, the people who were jealous, who were jealous of Daniel, they saw him and went to the king and reported. Once they reported, the king was, because the king loved Daniel, he was somehow, he didn't want to punish Daniel. So he looked for ways of making, of, of but he couldn't, he couldn't find out anything, anything wrong with Daniel. So, um, after some time, again, these people went and reported that Daniel is praying, he's worshipping God, he's not worshipping, he's not worshipping you, like, he was not worshipping King Darius. After they, after they had reported, the king got angry and ordered that Daniel should be thrown into the pit of lions. Daniel was thrown into the pit of lions, and then once he was thrown there, the king went to the palace and he could not sleep the entire night because deep down in his heart he knew that Daniel did not do anything wrong. And among his leaders, Daniel was one who, 
who used to do everything that he was asked to do very well and he did the right thing every day of his life so he couldn't sleep he couldn't even eat um when morning came he went to check on whether daniel was eaten by the by the by the lion once he arrived he called out daniel's name and and daniel responded and he asked daniel how he survived and and daniel responded that the angel of the lord shut the lion's mouth and so he was not eaten so god delivered daniel the god he was worshiping loyal in a very loyal way every day without fail saved him amen so um what what, what we learn from that entire story of daniel is that we should be courageous because daniel was courageous enough to continue to worship god even when a law had been passed that he should not worship any other god but king darius he still continued to do the right thing it did not matter whether the, he had enemies whether there was a law that said that he shouldn't worship god he continued worshiping god and even before he was thrown into the dens into the to the den of lions he still he was still doing the right thing so you and i are expected to do the right the right thing no matter what happens no matter the situation we are supposed to do the right thing just like daniel because daniel did not hide and 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 started like he, he did not hide and and he was not ashamed about worshiping his god he did not he did not try to to join the the company of people who are worshiping king darius he decided to remain true to himself and to his god because he knew that his god is a faithful god is a living god and he, that his god is able to save him in any situation all right so you and i are expected to worship god every day of our lives faithfully with, with without fail in every situation and what does courage mean here courage means that courage means doing the right thing in what whichever or whatever situation when you do the right thing in any situation you are courageous all right when you obey your parents that shows courage when you decide to say the truth when others are saying lies that is courage when you decide to do your homework on time and you know that is courage because you're doing the right thing no matter even when no one is seeing you you you're supposed to do the right thing because even when daniel was in his room praying no one was seeing him so he continued praying anyway all right so all of us are expected to do the right thing in at any time in any environment okay so this week as you go to school remind your fellow friends to be courageous enough to do the right thing even when everyone else is against them remind them to do the right thing because God is always watching and because God is always watching he will save you from anything bad that was going to happen to you amen so and that is why we were singing when, when we started we, we sang the song courage brother do not stumble all right you can also go to youtube and check out that song and keep listening to it so that you know that indeed do the right thing anytime anywhere any day in whatever situation you remember the line that was saying trust in god and do the right trust in god and do the right trust in god and do the right in everything that you do and so um today's memory verse is taken from the book of joshua chapter 1 verse 7 part a say with me joshua chapter 1 verse 7 part a and it says be strong and very courageous repeat let's repeat together be strong and very courageous that is joshua chapter 1 verse 7 part a it says be strong and courageous because god is always listening to you and he's always there with you in everything that you do and he will fight for you amen um 
before before we close today's uh lesson i'd like us to pray all right so put your hands together close your eyes and bow down your head for a word of prayer Jehovah lord we come before you uh, this time we thank you for the word that you've shared together we thank you lord for reminding us to be courageous and to be strong in you oh god help us to continue walking in your ways oh god help us oh god to do things the right way help us to trust in you and do the right thing Jehovah lord even as we start this new week may you be with us oh god be with with our mommies with our daddies with everyone else that we know about and even those that we do not know about and even those that are in hospitals oh god would you lord heal them Jehovah, your glory may you keep providing for us keep making us strong and healthy every day because you are a good god father be with us oh god and protect us even as we go into other activities in jesus mighty name we pray amen and may the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of our holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen see you next sunday bye